Sasha Gibson says at the age of 10, she was sexually abused by a man in his 40s. He would come into the room, um, call me out of the room, into the next room. Um, and when we were done, he would tell me to clean up. And I would go back to bed like nothing happened. What was the reaction when you told? Well, the female in the house at the time, she was upset. Um, and her words to me was not to tell anyone. She would deal with it. But when she saw nothing being done, she reported the matter to a family member and then the police. That's when she was kicked out of the home. Sasha says she then moved in with her father, who tried his best, but at the time, as a result of the abuse, she became troubled. She recalls her father having to discipline her for skipping school. My vice principal at the time decided that she was taking me to social service and not back home. And from there, I went to the children's home. And that was the Elizabeth Estates Children's Home. She says she soon befriended a 16-year-old who she confided in. But by age 11, she would become pregnant. I was ashamed and I didn't know how to hide from myself. The behavioral issues continued. Um, and for that matter, they couldn't accommodate me anymore. So they had to separate both the child and I. She was only 13 years old. That would be the last time she would see the baby. Some days I even beat up myself, saying that, you know, I was the cause of being separated from my child because I couldn't get it right, you know. And there were times where I felt suicidal because I didn't. because I didn't understand what was going on. There was a lot of churches that came to the children's home to do outreach ministries. And I made a decision that I would change my life. I graduated as student council president, student Christian movement president, president of the IAAP, and prefect. But I wanted more. She enrolled in school, got an associate's degree first, and then a bachelor's degree. She is now a wife and a mother of three beautiful children. I was able to join police force go through the training. Sasha says she's forever grateful to Pace, its administrator, and persons like Justice Estelle Gray Evans and her husband Shannon Dore Evans. I defied the odds because I had a God who always knew the plans for me. Sasha says the female in that home eventually asked her forgiveness after her abuser died. However, she says she has no idea where her child is, as she hasn't seen or heard from the child since she was taken away from her at only a few months old. Shashina Rolf-Farkasen, ZNS Network News.